How do you create relaxing music videos for YouTube? So you've probably seen these types of videos get recommended all over YouTube before. So people listen to these videos in the background, they don't really watch these videos. So these types of videos are great to get a lot of watch time, to get a lot of views and subscribers. So you should always be making these types of videos to grow your YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these types of videos using only free AI tools that you've never seen before. So I'm going to show you new tools that I've never created tutorials on before. So these are very new and exciting tools that make it very easy to create these types of videos. So we're going to create white noise videos, rain sounds, cafe music, and so much more. But before we get started with the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and comment down below with any questions, any other video requests, or just any random comment. And if you do so, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So if you don't know what YouTube Masterclass is, you can check out um, the first link in the description below. It's an entire course packed with everything that you need to know about how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel, and how to monetize it in multiple ways. So you'll be in the draw to win that course if you just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. So I pick a new winner every week. So let's uh, let's pick last week's winner. So I'm gonna go into last week's video right here, copy the link to the video, and I use this website called pickawinner.co, which picks winners from YouTube videos. So it's gonna go through all the comments from last week's video. So Nadine, you're the a winner from last week's contest. So if you're watching this video, you just need to email me and you'll find my email at the bottom of this video's description. So just email me with your Gmail account. So you should have a Gmail account or just any email account with the same name and the same avatar. Just email me with that account so I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the course. So if you want to win the course just like Nadim, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and comment down below. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So this first tool is called Sound, uh, Soundful. So we're going to be using many different tools in today's video, and I'll leave a link to all the tools in the description below. So this is the tool that we're going to use to create the music. And this tool is actually free to use. And you can use all the tracks that you create in, uh, in this tool uh, for free on your mu um, YouTube videos. So when you sign up to Soundful, it's going to ask you a few questions. So what kind of music are you trying to create? Uh, what genre is it in? Uh, is it rap? Is it uh, country music? Is it ambient music? So just because you create apps, choose like something like ambient music, doesn't mean you can't create uh, hip hop music or motivational music later on. So just kind of quickly go through all those questions that they ask. And once you do, you'll see this dashboard right here. So the type of video that I'm trying to create is a cafe sounds um, uh, music video. So I'm going to go up here and just search up something like coffee. And you should see some options right here. So you can see right here, coffee, coffee shop, mood and themes, cafe sounds, mood and themes. But if you don't see what you want here, just kind of scroll down and you'll find something eventually somewhere right here. So I'm just going to go up here and just choose coffee and see, let's see what, what these sounds sound like. So let's choose coffee and then click on play right here. So you can see it kind of creates like a rain sound and also adds in some piano in the background as well. So if you like this, you can uh, click on get and then click on render and download. But you only have 10 tracks to download, so make sure you download the ones that you like. But you can edit the music and preview the music as much as you like. So what we're going to do is, I actually don't like the kind of the rain in the background, it doesn't sound that great. So what I'm going to do is go back up here and just click on coffee. I mean, search up coffee and click on cafe sounds. And it's going to recreate an, another type of music for you. So let's see what this sounds like. So that sounds pretty good, but I want to kind of change it up a little bit. So if I click back on this again, and there's a few options right here. So the one that I use the most is similar and track. So let's click on similar. And what this will do is you can recreate the music, but it'll still kind of sound similar to the original one. So I'm going to keep this kind of slow for the speed right here. And for the key, I kind of just play around with this, you know, 
just one of these uh, letters right here. So I don't know anything about making music, but if you do have some experience in making music, you probably understand this a little bit more. But usually I just click on one of these and just see what sounds good. But uh, even if you click on some one of the wrong you know, keys right here, it will still make it sound good. So the uh, AI knows what sounds good and what doesn't sound good. So it will never create something that sounds really bad. So let's just click on create preview, pre uh, preview and see what it sounds like. I remember this will still sound similar to the original one because we clicked on similar. So usually this is really fast as well, so it just renders on their servers. So that sounds pretty good, but it d does sound quite uh, different to the original one, probably because we clicked on another key right here. So maybe let's try something like D and let's click on apply changes and see what that sounds like. So right now this is just kind of the music. There's no cafe sounds in there just yet. So I want to create the music and add some cafe sounds in, in, into it later on. So let's see what this one sounds like. So even if you know nothing about creating music, this sound still you can still create great music uh, with, the, with, with this AI tool. So let's click on play. So that sounds probably a bit too intense for like a relaxing music sound. So if, if you're just creating like music tracks, that will be great. But I want something a bit more relaxing. So let's click on close right here. And go back in here and click on track. And under here, there's a few options. So you can create all types of like hip hop music, pop music, R&B. But there's another option for, for relaxing music videos. So this could be ambient. And then click on ambient again and click on create preview. So it's going to keep the original track that you created, but it's going to make it a bit more relaxing. So this this time it might sound quite a bit different. So you're kind of creating like an entirely new genre. So I actually think that sounds quite relaxing. So it's very ambient. So I'm going to save that one. So I'm going to click on save and I'll just, uh, uh, you need to name it right here before you save it. So I'm just going to call this ambient cafe sounds and click on save and that's it so now you can create more music if you wanted to so I can go back in here and there's some new releases right here and there's also this coffee option so click on that so you can see that sounds pretty good so if you like that one you can edit that you can change it with the uh, similar option or the track option right here so once you've got your music, just go into my library and I'm going to click on get right here. So this is the one we just created. So click on get, choose the standard download, click on render and download and click on got. So usually this will take like, um, you know, uh, about five to 10 minutes to download. Doesn't usually doesn't download it right away. So the track just finished rendering. So if it is rendered, you'll see this little download button. Just click on that and then choose MP3 and click on download. So I've already downloaded the track. So let's go into the video editor. So the video editor I'm going to use is called clipchamp.com. So this is a free tool and you can uh, edit and download videos, HD videos completely for free. So it's called clipchamp.com. There'll be a, a link in the description below. So when you sign up for a free account, you'll see this dashboard. Just click on create a new video, start from scratch. Then it'll load up the video editor. So on the left hand side, you'll see media, record and create, templates, stock video. So under media, this is where you um, download or upload the tracks that you've just created. So let's go into the downloads folder and I'm going to upload this track right here. So this is a track we just downloaded. So while that's uploading, we're going to find some cafe sounds. So for this, we're going to go into Pixabay. So if you don't know what Pixabay is, it's a great website to find copyright free images, videos, illustrations, and so much more. And they also have this section right here called sound effects. So make sure you click on sound effects, not music. So click on that and search up whatever it is you're looking for. So this could be cafe sounds, rain sounds, white noise sounds, 
anything you want. So let's click on enter and press enter. And let's listen to this first one right here. So that's just some nice uh, cafe sound. So you can listen to the rest of these right here. Find, find the one that you like and download it. So just click on download right here. And this usually downloads right away. So there it is. And just uh, drag and drop this into the uh, media uh, section on the Clipchamp a video editor. So we've got the first uh, uh, tool right here, first um, track right here, which is the music track. So let's click on play. And you can see that's just the ambient sound in the back, sound in the background. The second one is the uh, restaurant sound. So let's try that with the music. So that sounds pretty good. So you can kind of play around with this a bit longer and get the exact type of sounds that you're looking for. But once you do, the uh, sounds are pretty much done. So you, if, if one of the tracks is longer than the other, you can simply press uh, copy this one. So you can go right click, copy, and then you go right click, paste. And you can just keep pasting it until it's um, as long as the uh, other track. So you can see right here, you can just press Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac, and just keep pressing that over and over again. And, oops, let me just zoom out here. So you can click on the Zoom button, and you can see now it's just as long if I just make this a bit shorter. There we go. So now we need some images or even some videos. So for this, we can go back to Pixabay and just search up something like a cafe and click on, instead of uh, images, click on videos. And you can use these videos right here. So these are just like people relaxing in cafes. You, so you can download this. So to, to download it, you just uh, click on it, click on free download, and click on I'm not a robot. And it just downloads the, the, um, the st uh, stock image. So then you simply just upload it and just put it right here. So it's as simple as that. Or if you want to create your own type of um, images, you can use a tool like Leonardo.ai. So Leonardo.ai is just like mid-journey. So it creates images from text. So you can put in like a beautiful cafe and it creates an image of a cafe. So let's go, uh, if you sign up for free, so this tool is also for free, uh, you can create up to 150 images per day. So that, that's a lot of images and that's more than enough to create yeah, your videos. So once you create your account, you'll see this dashboard. And on the left hand side here, you'll see AI image creation. So let's click on that. And at the top right here, this is where you put in your text. So I'm going to say something like a beautiful cafe in a nice city. And for this, I'll say something like a detailed um, painting. So instead of a photo, this could be like a painting. And maybe this could be like a painting by like a specific artist. So I know this artist called Erin Hansen. She's a great painter. So maybe in the style of Erin Hansen. But before, before you click on generate, make sure you choose two images. So it's going to choose create two images at a time. And it's also you're also going to change the width and the height as well. So choose like a, a nice width and a nice height. So the width should be bigger than the height. So that's like the ratio of like a YouTube video. So choose something like that. Then uh, actually you can just choose it right here. So if you go into aspect ratio, you can just click on 16 and nine. So that's like the ratio of like a YouTube video. And that's pretty much it. So the guidance scale, I don't really play around with this, but basically this, um, the higher, higher you make this, the more it will be like the text. The lower you make this, the more room you leave the AI to be creative. So I usually just leave this around like eight or seven. Um, but if you leave it around like, uh, you know, if you make it too high, it gives you a warning right here. The images aren't that high of quality. So that's it. So let's click on generate and see what the images uh, come out like. And remember, you can create up to 150 images per day. So let's just see what, uh, what kind of images we get. If you don't like the images, you can recreate it. So, and also again, you don't have to use these tools. If you're happy with just using these copyright free 
um, cafe uh, images or uh, these uh, stock videos, then you're free to do so. So these are completely free to use. And let's see what kind of images are created. So that actually looks really cool. It's actually like a nice looking painting of a cafe. And it actually looks like an Aaron Hansen painting as well. So I'm happy with that. If you don't like that, again, you can choose another artist or you can say like a, a realistic looking photo instead of a painting, anything that you want. But I'm actually quite happy with this. So I'm gonna right click and save this. And let's go back to the video editor, upload that. And I'm gonna get rid of the old image uh, video that we had before. And there, there's a video. So now if I hit play, so there's an um, uh, image with the sounds in the background. And again, you can use the other ones as well. So you can use the other images that are created right here as well. So you can download this one as well and uh, add this one as well. So if you like this image, how it came out, you can just click on generate again and it's going to keep creating you more and more images for you. And you can just kind of put these all side by side and it's going to be like scrolling through all of the, these different images that you created throughout the video. So let's just make this one maybe about a few seconds right here. And let's download, save this one. Click on save. And let's upload this. There we go. And let's, yep, so just created these ones. So again, you can download this and do the same thing again. So right click, save image as, and you can upload these ones. And now let's see what this video looks and sounds like. So perfect, so now you just keep going on with the rest of the video. So that's how you create relaxing music sound videos for YouTube. And if you want to see some other examples right here, let me just go into YouTube and search those up for you. So if I search up something like Edward Hopper relaxing music videos, relaxing music. So he's a famous painter right here. And you can see there's like a painting that he did what do you want? So let me just still, so it's got an ad coming up, unfortunately. Let me just lower the music uh, sound right here. So Edward Hopper is like a famous uh, painter and his paintings are always used to create, you know, relaxing music videos. So I don't want to play the music because it might be copyrighted, but uh, there'll be music playing in the background and they always use his artwork to create relaxing music uh, videos. and. You, you're pretty much doing the same thing, except it's your own artwork that you created with the AI. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and if you do so, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course, and I'll be announcing the winner in the next week's tutorial. So I'll see you guys in the next week's tutorial.